Hello, my name is uh, Mark Seckler. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, fellowship trained in sports medicine. I'm affiliated to Jersey Shore University Medical Center. I grew up in a family of physicians, so that was pretty much all I knew. My father was the Dean of Medicine at Mount Sinai Medical Center. I was actively involved uh, in athletics my whole life at a, a high level. Sustained multiple orthopedic sports related injuries and just was a natural combination and fit. My area of uh, uh, specialty expertise is knee and shoulder reconstruction. Uh, obviously most of it is done nowadays with the advanced technology arthroscopically. Um, uh, the advantage of doing it arthroscopic from a few decades ago open is the less normal tissue you have to violate the, the better it is for the athlete or the patient in question. The easier the rehab and the better the outcome. My primary objective is obviously to make the diagnosis. Then it's my responsibility to educate the patient to make sure that they understand it in whatever terms they're comfortable with. Then present them with their options. Uh, sometimes it's conservative treatment, sometimes it's surgical. Even if the indication is surgical, it's an individual's preference depend on how it affects their activities of daily living and basically their quality of life. A patient should consider uh, a total joint replacement, basically when he has failed everything short of the procedure. I personally only perform total knee replacements, uh, but the philosophy is the same. What I instruct my patients, and is the same advice I've taken myself having had a knee replacement, is when you've gotten to the point where You've tried everything from as minor as ice, rest, anti-inflammatories, weight loss, physical therapy, visco supplementation injections, cortisone injections, even minor temporizing surgeries. When they fail and it has now interferes with your quality of life, that's when you make the decision. I explained to him as a surgeon, I will never be the one, nor should I, to tell you when. It's when you've reached that point yourself and then it will be the most rewarding outcome. Another topic I would like to touch upon briefly is a shoulder reconstruction. We can do 90% of it arthroscopic, which is a tremendous advantage. A lot of people are very familiar with rotator cuff tears and pathology. It's a very disabling uh, disorder. It is not life-threatening, but significantly affects your ability to survive, enjoy life, even getting dressed, your hygiene. What makes it a much more tolerable procedure is the arthroscopic approach. And what has allowed us to pursue it arthroscopically is simply the advances in the technologies, the implant structures that we use. So there's almost nothing we have to do open with the shoulder short of a shoulder replacement and unfortunately trauma. Uh, but it has evolutionized shoulder reconstruction, specifically rotator cuff repair.